Gerard, and I'm Len Schroeder. And I'm Julio Zamora. And on today's show, we're going to talk about all of those fall plants that you can use in the landscape. It's just not about mums anymore, huh? Winter pansies and asters are all favorites. But there's a vast collection of cold-tolerant annuals like snapdragons and dianthus. Not to mention ornamental peppers and coxcomb and feather like celosia. So stay tuned, and we'll be back in the garden after this short break. Bloomers in the Garden is an hour-long gardening radio program that airs to over 6 million residents throughout the Delaware Valley. From Allentown to Wilmington, from the Main Line to the Jersey Shore, Bloomers in the Garden can be heard twice each Saturday morning, first at 8 a.m. on 860 WWDB and again at 9 on 610 a.m. ESPN Radio. Each episode of Bloomers in the Garden will be broadcast on Bloomers Facebook page and available as a podcast on bloomersinthegarden.com. Bloomers in the Garden is adding sponsors. Share your message to our large, diverse group of listeners. Commercials and segment sponsorships are available at incredibly affordable prices. Let Bloomers in the Garden get your message out to one of the largest and most diverse populations in the country. If you're interested in joining us in the garden, please visit bloomersinthegarden.com or email len at bloomers.com. Does your garden have planting insurance? It can now with Biotone Starter Plus from Espoma. It's the ultimate starter plant food. The secret is a special blend of natural organic plant food, beneficial microbes, and mycorrhizal fungi. The result? Plants grow faster, roots grow deeper, flowers and vegetables flourish. Best of all, every Espoma product is safe for people, pets, and the planet. Visit Espoma.com for a retailer near you. Biotone Starter Plus from Espoma, a natural in the garden since 1929. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call or text us using the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. Call or text us and let us know what problems you're facing. Let us know how we're doing. Call or text 609-685-1880. If we use your comment on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call or text us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. We are back, folks. uh, And we're going to talk about the most popular fall flower that's hardy, mum. The mum. The chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum. Right, same yeah. plant. Same that, plant. Uh, you get when you get it in as a gift, like a florist mom, they call it. Right. Um, so, hardy. What does what does hardy mean, Julio? It means it can survive in the winter time. Winter time. Yes. Har- hardy, and it so it's a perennial. Yes. So chrysanthemum is a perennial. It means it's rugged. Yes. Can mm-hmm. take the, the 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 initial frost without uh, falling apart. Oh yes, it can. Yeah. So. When we are doing uh, mums in, in the landscape, they last for, but it all depends on the weather, four to six weeks. And it's not the cold. A lot of times uh-huh. you'll put in a mum right. and all of a sudden it will wilt down and the, the buds will, will fla- they call it flagging. 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 Mm-hmm. flagging is another term for wilting. Wilt. And what happens is that they dry out. Mm. A lot of times that those buds are not coming back. Uh-oh. So we're going to talk about them in a little bit about some of the the ways that they've improved mums. Sort of. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it takes a long time to get a mum to market. It does. You have to start. Uh, it gets rooted. Little cuttings get rooted in June. In June. Wow. And then they get trans planted into a larger mm-hmm. container wow. they get pinched at least two times maybe, maybe even three okay. and that's how you get that nice dome round round fact dome like that yeah. you see in they, the garden that little orb it. of color wow. right and beautiful most people when they try to get their mums to come back it doesn't, it doesn't look doesn't anything work. like that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can't uh, pinch it right huh that's right that's right 
you know, before we get into pinching, let's talk a little bit right. about the the newer varieties of mums. Okay, mm-hmm. they're now being bred so that they can be to market sooner. Okay. Used to be that it was closer to Halloween when you were putting mums in. Wow, you know, late September. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, that September. it was more cold you know, out. Yeah, right? yeah mm-hmm. exactly. You got that first, the frost, frost. on the pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. And and it was just those varieties. They just, okay. that's when they bloom. They bloom they bloomed then. Now, there are varieties, like varieties we have in today. Wow. I mean, it's the 7th of September. We started last, last week. Last week. Yeah. And it's those varieties mm-hmm. are bred to bloom earlier, which yeah. also means they're probably going to be out of bloom earlier. Earlier. Okay. So, you don't have to be in a rush to get out to your garden nah. center to get your mums today. That's right, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. You can you can hang on because a sure. lot of times they're a little bit smaller. Mm-hmm. Um, just, just, again, yep. there on. are different varieties that are grown to come into bloom mm-hmm. at different times of the year. Mm-hmm. Savvy growers used to be able to shade their mums right. and get them to bloom come into oh, flower early. Okay. Hey, we were talking about sunlight last yes, week. we were. If yeah. you weren't listening, you missed out. <laughs> <laughs> that, That's right. Uh, again, to get the yeah. to get those mums Sunday into bloom and all bloom. about sunlight and a little bit less yeah. light mm-hmm. gets them to form their form buds, buds and, and boom, then they come they out. Come out. And that now the, they're actually breeding varieties uh, to yeah. do that. So again, yeah. I, hey, if your annuals look good, sure. Just enjoy yeah, them. Keep them, yeah. Keep them, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. If they're looking kind of ratty, ratty. there are lots uh, of choices um, uh, trying right. to, to pull them out. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And that they do, also mums like colder weather. Colder, yes. They can they can take it, mm-hmm. but they definitely do colder not like, like drying out. Heat. So mm-hmm. not that I'm telling you to keep them wet. They don't like that either. Yeah, they like to be yeah. just regularly watered. Right. Most of the time in the fall, in the fall, maybe not the early fall, but mm-hmm. but certainly when we're sure. into mid late September, September, we've got regular rains. Plus, right. it's not so hot that it's everything's cooler, drying right? out. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's right. So, I mean, mums are mums are mums. mums. Are mums. <laughs> 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 That's right. <laughs> I, I would love we to say that. that there's a great innovation on mums. Like uh, now, all of a sudden, they do different things. Yeah. Colors, but mm-hmm. uh, to be <laughs> honest with you, you know, there's purples and there's there's daisy types and yeah, there's yeah. there's all different things in the flower, but they pretty much are the same, same thing, thing that you've seen over the past 10, 20 years. That's right. Um, but mm-hmm. certainly the price has not changed no, has probably it. in the ten to twenty <laughs> 10 years. To 20 years. <laughs> uh, That's pretty good. It is. Yeah. It is. Where. We're gonna get into it. Uh-huh. We're gonna talk about. Uh, we're gonna talk about what to do with your mums at the end oh. of the season. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay. So mums are, are a perennial. I see. They are right, mm-hmm. and they do take a while to come back. So say you put your mums in the front of your house, and they look beautiful, and you've got lots of different colors. You've got yellows and purples, and they look stunning. Right, and then they start going out of bloom. Ooh. What are you going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? Are you you gonna tell me. Keep, you're going to either keep them or th- throw them out. Well, what happens is that if you want them to stay and you want them as a perennial, right? I would not leave them in the front of the house. No, take them out. Transplant them into mm-hmm. the backyard. Mm-hmm. Put them in a spot that's somewhere else that's not Away. seen because they're not going to bloom again. Yeah. It's not like a coreopsis where you can cut it back, back and it'll flush back. out a new yeah. new bloom cycle right. it gets one bloom cycle and, and that's done. about it mm-hmm. um you also now let's talk about pinching what's pinching. what is pinching julio well you can you can use your uh cutters your your, your pruners Sh- and you can shear them back a so little it's bit. another word for shearing yeah shearing and um right the, cut it back a yeah, third the, or so the the, the mm-hmm. pinching a mom encourages it to grow more dense, more yes. compact. And those of you that have grown mums out there have had them so that all, you know, they get real leggy yeah. and that uh, they don't look anything like the thing that you originally bought. <laughs> That's right. So you have to do at least two pinches, two if pinches. not three. Mm-hmm. And what you do is you let it grow a third and then you cut it back in mm-hmm. half. You let it grow another third, third and you cut it back uh, in half. And then you do your last pinch. Usually the last pinch is, is in the, and end of July. July. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you pinch if you pinched it 
um, a little late. It just blooms a little later. Later. Okay. All right. But it stay, it, you'll have that nice dome Ooh. look. If right. you don't, it's going to be tall and it's mm-hmm. going to be kind of leggy. Yeah. Um, you know, it, 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 it sometimes will. it's called oriental. Oriental, <laughs> <Yeah>. oriental mums. <laughs> well, you know, that's a <laughs> that's one. a nice way of saying oh, it's okay. leggy. Um, <laughs> All right. Yeah. But again, you've got to get that first pinch in, uh-huh. and don't be afraid to really cut it back. Okay. That first pinch is the where you're going to establish the shape of that plant. Oh. And what's what it's going to be looking like in the fall? Oh, so it could be halfway. Is that what you're saying? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. So at least so that at first least pinch. Yeah, you're gonna okay. you're gonna do it, but you want to let it start growing. And sometimes the mums aren't going to grow oh, um, okay. out of that old growth where you had it. They're going to grow out of the root system and, and grow out. Oh, Depends okay. on what our winter our winters are like. Oh okay. Yeah. So, wow. but um, no, don't be afraid to do that. No. Yeah. No. No, and and Julio says you should just throw them away. Yes, that's what I do. <laughs> that's what you do. <laughs> I do. Moms are cheap. Yeah, they are. So, I mean, They're cheap. Our, five bucks a piece wow. for for, for our that. for our moms and you and, mm-hmm. and at Bloomers and and yeah. you get and they're they're in a nine inch pot and they're big moms or mm-hmm. they're you know probably about eighteen inches yes. across. Yes. Nice dome, perfect Beautiful. plant, ready to go. Put it cool. in the ground. Yeah. You can do the whole front of your yard for less than 50 bucks. How about that? Um, and and the, the point is that it takes so long for it to come back for another show like you're oh. getting the day you bought it. Mm-hmm. You maybe should consider, you know, Ready? here you go. You have our permission yes. to euthanize hey, your hey. moms when they are done blooming. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Add them to the compost pile. Yes. You know, that's right. Do what you need to do. Give yeah. them to a neighbor, your friends. You know, you can pl- again. I suggest planting them in the backyard, the back. someplace where you're not yes. going to notice them until they are in bloom. That's always a good good thing. That's good. But they are so cheap and so oh, inexpensive cheap. that having to care for them, unless you want to do it. Like yeah. last week, Carolyn about her poinsettia. She wanted to bring her poinsettia back. back. That's yep. fine. That's fine. If yeah. you want to do it, that's great. Yeah, that's, that's right. You right. go ahead. You get to learn a lot of things about plants. That Absolutely. Way, you know? Absolutely. You so and, go but, ahead. But this is one of the times where sometimes the you know the, the economic feasibility yeah. of doing well that sounds pretty pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Isn't it? Yeah, economic like feasibility that. of yeah. keeping your plant <laughs> alive so. through wow. the entire year to have it come back uh, next September in the same the same quality and shape and size that you would have if you just went out and bought some new ones for five bucks is not worth it. Guess what? <laughs> do you really want to do that? No. And if you do, good for you. That's right. And that we're here to help you along the way mm-hmm. next next spring. Oh, give us a call. Yeah, hey, my mums are starting to grow. What should I do? Look at that. Oh. Oh Julio's goodness. going to tell you to throw them away. That's right. <laughs> Send your complaint mail to Julio Zamora <laughs> at Bloomers in the Garden. I'll take care of you. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> anyway, mums are a great plant. They are nice. They, they are a traditional yeah, plant. Traditional, yeah. They Classic. do flower for that six mm-hmm. to eight week period. That's but right. then again, uh-huh. enjoy them. Enjoy them while they're Treat there. them maybe as an annual. There you go. Because there are so many other options you can use. Tons. That's it. Yeah. All right. And we're going we're gonna to talk about those oh, yes. right after oh, boy. this message. Do you want a picture-perfect lawn this year? It all starts with using the best grass seed available. Bonide makes that happen with DuraTurf Grass Seed. Bonide is using the best varieties of grass seed available today for their DuraTurf Grass Seed blends. When you start using Bonide's high traffic and heat and drought grass seed blend, you will have a deep rooting lawn that requires less water. Therefore, you will save money in water bills and also resist the harsh summer heat and sun. Bonide's DuraTurf grass seed mixes are disease and insect resistant and will grow in poor soil. You get all these benefits along with having a naturally durable dark green lawn. When planting grass seed, always use Bonide's lawn seed starter fertilizer to get your grass off to a healthy start to ensure that picture perfect lawn. Bonide products are available and family made at these fine stores. Spots Hardware, Medford, New Jersey, Haynes Farm and Garden, Cinnamons in New Jersey, Rourke's Farm Supply, Elmer, New Jersey. Bloomers in the Garden is brought to you each week by Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bloomers is an award-winning garden center just 20 minutes from Philadelphia. 
Bloomers has been providing expert advice turning brown thumbs green for over 30 years. At Bloomers, we want you to ask us every question, even if you think it's silly. We share information in a friendly, non-judgmental way that is meant to teach and spread the joy of gardening. Visit Bloomers Home and Garden Center in Washington Township, Gloucester County. For directions, go to bloomers.com, and we'll see you in the garden. Visit Bloomers Home and Garden Center for the best selection of summer flowering perennials anywhere. Cone flowers in colors as vast as the rainbow. Reblooming daylilies in all the best varieties. Giant hardy hibiscus with flowers that measure 12 inches across. Make sure to visit our water garden department. Fish plants and water treatments that will keep your pond beautiful and crystal clear. Thinking about a new filter, UV, or water feature? Bloomers has them all in stock. Need to replace that sterilizer bulb? Bloomers carries a wide selection to match your model UV. Fall decorations are starting to roll in. Wind chimes, flags, and more. Bloomers has been selected the best of the best garden center by South Jersey Magazine. Visit Bloomers Home and Garden Center in Washington Township today. Just 30 minutes from Philadelphia. Find more information at bloomers.com. That's bloomers.com. Julio, some of the best fall flowering plants that have the most dynamic colors are actually ammo. Animals. animals annuals that's right thank you oh my goodness Not that slipped slipped up you know it, it, it's amazing how dynamic like we talked about mums just in the last segment uh-huh. you know it, it used to be you could get mums and cabbage and kale that was right. about it that's it huh? and that Nothing now oh, it is we have a uh, i mean a it plethora. is a plethora oh, good word <laughs> look at that plethora yes. and, and a vast selection vast. of colors textures and forms oh, my. that uh are just incredible. Yeah. What? And if you are not on YouTube, you should be. Yeah, today. right. Uh, we we <laughs> actually are you know on YouTube right now. Yeah. The uh, we have taken over the studio and have filled the table <laughs> right. with <laughs> This is just a small sample oh, uh, yes. <laughs> of what we have, but let's uh, start let's start in first. Go ahead. Let's let's talk about Celosia. Oh boy. What is your favorite? You picked one out. You, uh, let me just say something let me before say, you start on that. When I first saw Celosia Right. I said to myself, what is that? Okay. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. I thought it was from outer space. Yeah. But, you know, uh, it's like incredible. Like the color just blew me away. Yeah. You know, just wow. And I didn't know what it, I said. Where did this come from? And Celosia are available in the spring. And But there are basically two types. There's the feather type right. and there's the, the coxcomb, coxcomb type where the coxcomb kind of look like that you know, cool. brain coral. Yeah. But it's very cool. Very, cool looking. Yeah. Right. And, and the varieties that they've come up with oh, in the fall, goodness. you picked out that pink variety. Oh, what is pink? that variety? I love that pink. And it's and called it's Romantica. Ooh, Romantica. And it, and it is. It's, it is romantic. It's a soft pink. Very soft. Very tight onto mm-hmm. the plant. It's not uh, leggy at all. Mm-hmm. And it has a texture that is just fabulous. It's a plume, right? Yep, a plume type. Yep, plume, plume type, type, feather type, yeah, absolutely. And that Gorgeous. there's so many different varieties, and the sizes that are available are everything from like a small four inch to where two gallon full sized plants are available. Uh-huh. Now, those plants to put in and to replace the annuals that may be yeah. looking a little sad right mm-hmm. now oh. is ideal. Ideal, yes. Yeah, and one thing about coxcomb mm-hmm. is that they are not like the best frost hardy no. plant. But, but but yeah. Tell me. Oh my goodness. They are they they're easy to take care of. They're color wise they're unbelievable. Right? And you know the textures of it is unbelievable. Right? I mean it's, right. it's incredible what what you can get. <laughs> That's right. In that they also mm-hmm. like again, this is the coxcomb type mm-hmm. can be dried. After oh, you yes. get that first frost, and it, it you've got some of the foliage that hits. Now, it's going to be a hard frost, so we're talking about late October. Mm-hmm. We're talking about, you know, again, it, who who knows? I mean, it could be, I think, anywhere from, again, Halloween to the middle middle of oh, November. Okay. That's pretty far And away. that by then, they've done their job. Mm-hmm. But you take the, the coxcomb, cut it. And then bring it in, turn it upside down, let it dry out dry for a while, and you can weeks, use it inside right? the house mm-hmm. as a, as a so, dried yeah. flower. Oh, that's great. Yep. Look at that. Double duty. Double ah, duty is right. That. Double duty mm-hmm. is right. Love it. 
But again, it, it's the colors are mm. just they're like the Dracula series. Dracula. Oh, incredible! Oh, we have that one over there. See yes, it? we do. Right in yes, front of you. Do. They're Dracula right in front of you. There it is. Look at that. Dark, oh my god! Dark goodness. foliage. Because that's on the this, other folks? thing. We didn't even mention the foliage. The, oh, foliage. the foliage on it is anywhere from a green to a, a light green, right. and some of the colors that are like yellows, yellows. and things to. Like this Dracula, the foliage is actually a dark, dark red. Yes. With, with veins. a coxcomb type. With the veins on that. Uh huh. Incredible plant. Full Beautiful. prefers full sun. Right. And Perf- how big does that get, Len? That's gonna get to be that can get to be two foot tall. Two foot? Mm-hmm. You know, it's not it it's not a small plant. Yeah. But uh in the fall, the bigger you buy it, the you know bigger. it's it's gonna yeah. it's gonna it's gonna be more of an impact, but right. you don't necessarily always want them big. Yeah, you don't. Yep, we're going to talk about it at our last segment. We're going to talk about doing combo pots. Oh, so yes. just uh, make sure Fun. you're staying tuned. Mm-hmm. That another thing mm-hmm. is that snapdragons. Oh, snapdragons! Now, yes. snapdragons they can tolerate they can it, huh? cold weather. So that's a that's one that you want to really. It's almost the reverse of spring. Yeah, <laughs> where snapdragons are one of the first annuals that we bring in in March. Oh yes, and that they can tolerate that cold weather. And on the flip side of that, right. they can tolerate. The cold weather going into the fall. The fall. Oh, look at that! Great colors, great mm-hmm. fall colors, and oranges and yellows. Burgundy, and there's a red. there's a burgundy red. Yes, and that that's <laughs> a that's a great great, great plant. It is a great one. Um, and even you know, t- everything is color, texture, and form. Color, color texture, texture, and form. form. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then here's a question: When is a grass not a grass? <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> when it's millet. When it's millet, huh? Look at that. Now, millet's now available. Where millet is that same millet right. that it's in bird seed that uh, some birds filler, kick out. It's, some birds kick it out. They don't like it. They don't like it. But the birds that do, uh-huh. they'll come to your millet plant and feed off of that, that millet. Ah, look at that. And that it's and the colors that they have are a oh, pale man. green, you know, almost like um, chartreuse. Chartreuse. And... Also, all the way to the spectrum to where it's a red. A red. Oh, the one we have here is like a like a red. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, like it, it looks, it looks a lot like the Pentacetum rubrum, uh, right. dark red grass. Red, and, oh, and, yeah. and again, not hardy, but it doesn't matter. Right. It's going to be feeding those birds all the throughout the the winter. Mm-hmm. And you Wonderful. just leave it go, and and you you just take care of it when you do your you your go. spring cleanup. Yeah, double duty cleanup. again. Ha! Huh? Look at that. Yep. Yeah, and and just like we talked about cone flowers last week, cool. and uh, and black eyed Susans, Susans, you just yes. let them go to Doesn't seed go. Mm-hmm. and don't touch them. Feed the birds. Feed the birds. There feed you the go, birds. folks. That's right. <laughs> also petunias, petunias just uh, like snapdragons, where they take the cold weather, they give you a lot of different color variation. Mm-hmm. Also calabrica. Yep. 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 Plenty of those beautiful These same oranges. type of things. That we're doing in early spring, we're doing, we're doing now. now in fall. That's why that's why it's so exciting right now. It is. You know? It is. There's more than mums. Oh yeah, more than mums. More than mums. <laughs> and <laughs> in the next segment, we're going to talk about that. Oh yeah. Um, we're going to talk about some perennials oh. for impulse color. There you go. So we're going to be right back, right after mm-hmm. this. Stay tuned for the Bloomers Garden Minute. The Garden Minute is brought to you by Bloomers in the Garden, Philadelphia Garden Radio. Find us on the radio dial or on the web at bloomers.com. This is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden for the Garden Minute. Ah, the summertime, the flowers are blooming, the birds are singing, the garden is yielding its bounty. Yeah, but the weeds are growing and the bugs are feeding and breeding. Next year's crop of insects are laying eggs and the weeds are dropping seeds all over your lawn, landscape, and garden. Those insects plan to host a family reunion right in your yard next summer. The weeds are planning a reunion of their own if you don't control them now. Insects want multiple generation. Weeds too. Taking care of today's insects and weeds means no descendants next year. Don't pass up this opportunity. Control next year's pests now. Get out to Bloomers or your local area independent garden center today for help getting those pests under control. Cancel that reunion and make your home and yard care even easier next year. This is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden for the Garden Minute, and we'll see you in the garden. Today's Garden Minute was brought to you by Bloomers in the Garden, Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Also brought to you by VPG, the Fertilome People. 
Fertilum Succulent Potting Mix with EcoPeat is the perfect ready-to-use potting mix for all your succulents. Fertilum Succulent Potting Mix is a blend of sphagnum peat moss, perlite, and EcoPeat. EcoPeat is a natural wood fiber from peat bogs. When added to Fertilum peat moss, it produces a superior professional substrate with an exceptional ratio of air porosity and water holding capacity. Fertilome Succulent Potting Mix will ensure maximum drainage with ideal water retention. It's simply the best succulent mix on the market. Ask for Fertilome by name at your local garden center. Available at Daniel's Garden Center, Sumney Town Pike, Harleysville, Pennsylvania. Gasper's Home and Garden, 316 Tanyard Road, Richboro, PA. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call or text us using the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. Call or text us and let us know what problems you're facing. Let us know how we're doing. Call or text 609-685-1880. If we use your comment on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call or text us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. Well, then we are back. Yes, we and are. And moms aren't the only perennial soul that's an impulse plant in the fall, are they? No. No, they're not. No. Mm-hmm. Hardy asters. Oh, yes. Hardy oh, asters. Boy. There's, there's, there's like a actually beauty. a variety. <laughs> there's a series called Kick Asters right oh, now goodness. that are out wow. there. Yes, there are. Oh. Um, you know what? Asters give you a little bit of a di- different texture, yes. similar to mums. Okay. Um, you probably fool a novice when and say, is that a mom? And, and But mm. the difference is... is is the colors that you get where there are purple mums, but asters have a little bit of a different shade. Um, they also have blues. Blues, yeah. Yeah, oh. where it's that purpley blue mm-hmm. yeah. that asters get. Right. And asters, you just have to be careful that they have a ser- They sometimes will bloom really quick. Boom, oh, and they're you done. Know, and, and that they are not going to hold on as long as a mum. Right. But they still are, are Gorgeous. fantastic plants Gorgeous. and beautiful. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. There's a whole series that you picked up on the new varieties that we oh, had gotten yeah. in that are like, the, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know exactly what to call them other than the Royal, royal Series. Royal Series. <laughs> like yeah. Hen- Henry, Henry the, the Third. third. Yeah. Peter the Third. <laughs> yeah. George. Marie. And, and all those growers, what they do, or mm-hmm. let's say hybridizers, what they do is they come up with good names that oh, are going to be sure. memorable mm-hmm. and that they're just slightly different or better. Than the older varieties, Purple Dome used to be the only aster that you used to be able to get. Oh, wow. It was a beautiful plant, sure. but you know, you blinked and it was done cool. blooming. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, it's and, and it's like, wow, I, I wow. missed it. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, right? <laughs> yeah, and and now that the asters are a little bit longer, longer. bloom cycle, oh, but it's not going to be as long as right. as a mum will be. Mm-hmm. Um, can also that will get a bloom cycle where a mum may hold out and not bloom until the following year, right. you may get an aster that's blooming in the middle of the summer or a little oh, bit earlier. earlier so because when that. these were planted, these were planted to for this targeting Targeted. fall. Oh, okay. So I wouldn't necessarily leave them in the front of your house, but I would mm-hmm. put them in a perennial bed, certainly. Oh, sure. You know, yeah, so, but, uh, but also, mm-hmm. let's get over asters. Yeah. Hookra. Hookra. Right. Oh, coral beautiful. bells. Different coral all bells. of those awesome varieties of coral yeah. bells mm-hmm. where you think about the like caramel is caramel. is a variety and looks exactly like it sounds. It's that orangey Orangey, brown, yeah, brownish brown perfect yes. fall, fall color. color. Yes. Uh, yeah. purple palace. Oh. And that. the unique thing is is you can get these now not only in larger sizes, small small sizes, yes. like four inch pots. Wonderful. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now now, hooker is something that I would put in front of your house oh, yes. and leave okay. there, yep. and that it's great for, for combo pots. Combo but pots. we're getting ahead of ourselves. Yep, not, That's not our yet, fifth segment. Yet. Stay sure. tuned. We'll be talking more about that later. Mm-hmm. Um, all of the grasses. Grasses, oh, my goodness. All, I, 
Little Bunny is Little my Bunny. favorite. Penicetum yeah. Little Bunny. <laughs> like and, I, and I don't know if I like it just because of the name. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but yeah. it is a great nice grass. Little, Doesn't yes. grow real big. Right. Stays in its, in its proportions. Oh, but yeah. then you go up and then you go to Hamlin, which Hamlin. is, oh, a, yes. is a, like was the one. original dwarf. So how big is Hamlin going to get? Two foot? Three? Yep. Two, two foot. Two foot. Yep. Yeah. It has nice little foxtail, blows yeah. in the wind. Nice. Where everybody likes that Penicetum rubrum. Oh, yeah. There's a new variety of grass out there oh. called Blackhawk. Blackhawk. Oh, uh, it's got dark. a great name, too. Yeah. And it is the darkest red get, yeah. that I have seen yeah, available. Okay. And it is a good red because yeah. it's almost like a purpley purpley blue red purpley at the blue. stem wow. and that when the leaves come out mm-hmm. it, it is a good red that variety is from our friends at centered in nursery Ooh. uh they uh have it used to be the only perennial grass used to be it was japanese blood grass and it was never hardy it? it would never yeah. come back never come back uh lots of complaints mm-hmm. from customers that wow. i planted it it doesn't come back right. what's going on but this but new now, Blackhawk is, is amazing. Winter, huh? it's winter. Yeah, it oh, is a great wow. it is a great plant. But it's tall. It's going to get to be probably about three foot. Oh, that's not bad. Three yeah. foot. Three foot. Um, it, yeah, it's more upright. Upright. It's not like it's not going to grow as big as a dome. It's going to oh, grow okay. more as a large clump. Oh, okay. So that's wow. another one. Like pompous grass is, pompous is another one. But you got to get the hardy pompous grass hardy, yes. in this area mm-hmm. that pompous grass that you see on those South Carolina yes. golf oh. courses are not hardy in this yeah. area. Mm-hmm. So they're going to be annual. So we have know. one that's dwarf. It's a dwarf one, right? That's right. Really that nice. that dwarf one is yeah. it's stunning. Gives it you is. the same, same the same look, but yeah. it's not the same same variety right. that you see that gets to be those eight foot eight tall. Foot, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nothing, nothing like nothing that. Nothing monster. <laughs> nope. 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 So again, when you're out in the garden center this weekend, mm-hmm. you know, asters you're going to see. They're going to be right next to the mums. Boom. Right. But Look for some of those coral bells. Oh yeah. Any of those varieties of the hookra yeah. or <laughs> or any of the grasses. That's right. And you don't necessarily have to do a border of all mums. You can yeah. mix some of these mix things right together. Yeah, yes. And Beautiful. being that where they are and right. you'll get to let's see, you'll get September, October, mm-hmm. and most yeah, of November, November for sure. And then you can leave them in, you can transplant them, you can do whatever. Sure. Uh, but you get a long season from them. That's right. It's and not just about the flowers, you know, about the uh, leaves, all right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Again, color, wow. texture, and form. There you go. All right. We're going to be right back in our next segment. We're going to be talking about, with a name like Pansy, it's got to oh, be tough. Oh, boy, look out. <laughs> all right, we'll That's talk it. about Pansies in our next segment. Bloomers in the Garden is brought to you each week by Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bloomers is an award-winning garden center just 20 minutes from Philadelphia. Bloomers has been providing expert advice turning brown thumbs green for over 30 years. At Bloomers, we want you to ask us every question, even if you think it's silly. We share information in a friendly, non-judgmental way that is meant to teach and spread the joy of gardening. Visit Bloomers Home and Garden Center in Washington Township, Gloucester County. For directions, go to bloomers.com, and we'll see you in the garden. Is your yard and landscape being destroyed by nuisance animal pests? If so, Bonite has a product to solve that problem. Repelzol is an all-natural repellent that works on deer, rabbits, skunks, squirrels, chipmunks, raccoons, and many other nuisance animals. It stays effective for up to two months. The all-natural ingredients in Repelzol use smell, taste, and irritation to keep animals away. Unlike other repellents, Repelzol has no unpleasant odor. Repelzol natural formula can be applied to trees, shrubs, perennials, and around edible crops. It also works to prevent animals from chewing on fences and structures. Repelzol is so effective that your satisfaction is guaranteed. Repelzol is available in a concentrate, ready to use, and ready to spray liquid formulations. And in an easy-to-use granule in a three-pound shaker and a six-pound bag for spreader applications. Bonide products are family-made in America. Look for Repelzol products at these fine stores. Nisley Feed and Hardware, Morgantown, PA. Primex Garden Center, Glenside, PA. Harleysville Feed, Harleysville, PA. 
Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call or text us using the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. Call or text us and let us know what problems you're facing. Let us know how we're doing. Call or text 609-685-1880. If we use your comment on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call or text us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. Well, Julio, how is a fall pansy or winter pansy different from a spring pansy? Uh, not lo- not a whole lot. Is there? <laughs> Good marketing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. Perfect. Like you'll see names like Winter Survivor right. and things like that. But mm-hmm. to be honest with you, pansies, pansy? it's not about the cold. It's about the heat. Mm-hmm. So pansies will do really well, and they'll come back and flower again in March, March. and usually go until, let's say, July... Depends how hot it is. is, Yeah, the hotter it gets, they kind of fade away. So, they're a great plant, great Mm -hmm. annual, great for the fall. Great, Mm -hmm. fantastic. Um, I'm surprised that we have pansies right now. It's early again. It's it's September seventh. So, our pansies just came in, and I'm excited. And they look great. Beautiful, aren't they? They they are. I like them all. They are, and we have plenty. Yep. Um, And there's different types. There are pansies, Johnny jump ups, right? Johnny jump ups. Love There's that violas, right? violas, and mm-hmm. Johnny jump up and viola are the same, same thing. thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that pansies have what they call faces, faces, where like if again if you're looking on YouTube, Michael, like, you have that white that has the purple face right in front of you. Yes, I do. Yes, right. Yeah. Here. yeah. No, not that one. Oh, this guy, oh, the white, right here. Oh, the white one. Oh, yeah. the big guy. Yes. And big. that that's a, a pansy's face, and and that yeah. where. Again, they come in blues with with, and they're always a darker face. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes, like on a, a blue, it'll look more black, mm-hmm. but it's maybe a darker a darker color, blue and, darker and blue. Yeah. like it's never going to be where it'll be a a yellow face on a blue pansy. But there'll be some different variations. Like mm-hmm. we've had black pansy, uh, not pansies, but we've had well, they're smaller pansies. Small. They're smaller pansies, like the Cool Wave series. Uh, you'll see those. Like again, that's branding. Yeah, uh, cool Wave series has a uh, a darker, a bigger, a bigger color. It's not really a Johnny Jump Up, but it's yeah. a it's a little bit larger, larger flower, mm-hmm. and where a lot of it's uh, solid colors. Okay, but there's a black there's in that black. version. Wow. Yeah, like right in front of me right now, I've got a an orange with a purple top. I mean, oh, it's beautiful. It is stunning, it's gorgeous, stunning, stunning plants. And some of them are, are um, they're not upright; they're uh, trailing. Mm. Some of them can no. trail a little bit more. They spread. They spread a little bit more. Spread is probably a better word than spread. trail. Yeah, because they're they're they'll get to be a larger, a larger, larger. clump. And that what I suggest putting I I right. suggest six inch pots. Six. Because six inch pots, you can just cluster three together, mm-hmm. and they'll still make a statement. Wow! It's not where you have to do plant to bed. If you're using cell packs, mm-hmm. you you're gonna have to put them in really tight, tight. Yeah. and you're it's cool. gonna. I, I mean, it's gonna be harder because now all of a sudden you've got a small cell to keep watered and take care of, oh, yeah, where yeah. a six inch pot is is probably easier to take mm-hmm. care of. Sure. Um, if it was. Early spring, I might uh, switch that around. Switch around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but for for now, mm-hmm. but I like the fact that they come back and that they'll be oh, nicer yeah. in the spring, in spring than now. they are when you plant yeah, them. I mean, they're beautiful nice. now, but like for instance, think about this: mm-hmm. taking blue, like sky blue okay. pansies, sky blue, right, with a dark face, okay, and putting them on top of an orange tulip. Oh. Oh, I like that. So one. what happens? You plant the tulips, put the pansies, pansies on, top. on top. Then in the spring, those tulips will come up Boom. through come the right pansies through <laughs> as the pansies are blooming. So uh, they'll be like idea. a skirt of that sky blue uh-huh. with the face 
underneath wow. with the orange on top. Look at that. Now you're talking. Wow. There you go. There you go, folks. That's the advanced class. Yeah. But it's so simple. Yeah. It is not hard. Yeah. It is not hard. And you could put that in a pot. Oh, that would look nice. You could. Yeah. You could. You could. But the thing with pansies is that if we get winter winds, Ooh. it burns off burns the flowers. It. And that the foliage stays, mm -hmm. but the flowers disappear. But they come back. Come back. They come back. They can. They will continue to bloom. Yeah, they can take it. They can it, take that cold. That's right. The name like pansy. Yep. <laughs> um, now I wanted to do as the introduction a boy named Sue to this oh, yeah. segment because of pansies. You know, that's they're, right. They're tough. <laughs> there you go. Um, ag again, have you planted pansies in I your yard? I have in the past. Yeah. Yep. I, li I like them. Do you plant them in the ground or in a pot? I put it in a pot. In a pot. Yeah. And you have? Do you have any problems with them coming back? No, they come back all by yeah. themselves. Yeah, they have no okay. problem. So there you go. We seed. Yeah. A testimony from Julio Zamora. There you go. <laughs> and I'll tell you what they. they they're dynamic colors that oh. you can get and how that accentuates nice. mums and that where you can do a mixture of mm. plants. Wonderful. We yeah. are so fortunate to be the, the different oh. breeding uh, that, that they're doing now with fall plant material. I mean, it was so boring when you got mums <laughs> and maybe it, asters it, right? and, and, uh, you know, the choices yeah. are oh, limited back awful. then. <laughs> I mean, we used to, uh, unfortunately, not uh -huh. many bulbs are planted as much as there used to be. No. And I encourage everybody, we're going to do oh, a yeah. show about bulbs, bulbs coming yes. up. Wonderful. But uh, I, it, it just is, is very dynamic time for, oh, for the fall. It is. It's, it's wonderful. Exciting. Exciting yeah. time. Exciting time. Oh. Um, one thing, again, you know, we talk about mixing right. bulbs like, like yellow daffodils, daffodils. again, ah. with pansies, pansies on top. Yeah. And that, now what happens is the pansies are there, and they start to bloom, and then all of a sudden these things pop Boom. out of the ground, and, and they start oh. to flower. That's right. Oh. Stunning. There you go, folks. Stunning. Look it's an that. exciting time to yeah. be in the garden. Yes, it is. That's it's right. Wonderful. That's right. Well, you know what? The next segment coming up, we're going to talk about some other plants mm -hmm. that you're going to be familiar with. But sometimes they're on your dinner plate. Uh-oh. <laughs> we'll be right back right after this. Visit Bloomer's Home and Garden Center for the best selection of summer flowering perennials anywhere. Grown flowers in colors as vast as the rainbow. Reblooming daylilies in all the best varieties. Giant hardy hibiscus with flowers that measure 12 inches across. Make sure to visit our water garden department. Fish plants and water treatments that will keep your pond beautiful and crystal clear. Thinking about a new filter, UV, or water feature? Bloomers has them all in stock. Need to replace that sterilizer bulb? Bloomers carries a wide selection to match your model UV. Fall decorations are starting to roll in. Wind chimes, flags, and more. Bloomers has been selected the best of the best garden center by South Jersey Magazine. Visit Bloomers Home and Garden Center in Washington Township today. Just 30 minutes from Philadelphia. Find more information at bloomers.com. That's bloomers.com. Tired of pale green, weedy results from four-step lawn programs? That's because they don't do anything for the soil. The New American Lawn four-step program feeds the lawn and the soil. MagiCal Plus, a unique soil food that adjusts soil pH, loosens hard soil, and feeds soil microbes is the key difference. Without the right soil conditions, you'll never enjoy a great lawn. Competitive programs simply don't match up. So feed your lawn and your soil with the new American Lawn 4-Step Program by Jonathan Green. Jonathan Green products can be found at these fine stores. Action Hardware, Wilmington, Delaware. Hokesson Hardware, Hokesson, Delaware. Gaspers Garden Center, Richboro, Pennsylvania. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call or text us using the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. Call or text us and let us know what problems you're facing. Let us know how we're doing. Call or text 609-685-1880. If we use your comment on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call or text us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. 
and we'll see you in the garden. Well, we are back, Len, and there are garnishes you can plant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, with ornamental cabbage and kale. Oh, wow. Right? Yes. The, they are also very popular. Very They've been much. around for a while. Uh-huh. But what's different is they used to be only available in, like, say, a nine-inch pot. Big. Now, four-inch pots. Oh, I like that. Four-inch pots. Really beautiful. And they're different sizes, like... The cabbage are the ones that have the smooth leaf, and it's a little bit different. Kale is probably more popular, more popular but again, yes. that's the garnish that you see, like in this oh, yeah. <laughs> when you go to uh, to the salad bar. Right. <laughs> but in the landscape, oh. they will last and last and last and last. They'll be in January, January, and they'll still be there. Sometimes you'll end up in the spring, and they still still look there. All right. Yeah, I had and, them in February last year. Yeah, uh, so there you go, yeah. and. It's a great plant, and it is. the varieties, Wonderful. again, we can't say enough about oh. the great breeding that's oh, going on. Pulley, you. you have one that's unique in front of you. Very unique. It's called Glamour Red. It's Gl- unbelievable. It's It's got a shiny leaf to it, okay? It has the veins are green, and then the leaf is like a... Well, it's like a and then burgundy. the center, the center will get that the red color. That's that where the red. color comes from. Oh, yeah, the center will get that red. And they, they all have that contrast. Like, uh, they get better as the weather gets colder. colder yes. They colder. get better as the weather gets colder, yeah. which is, is again, it's it's a great plant, great plants to use. Like, I'm, I, I have the, one of the peacock varieties, oh. which is, it's a slender leaf uh-huh. where it's doesn't, it's not like a cluster of no. leaves. It's more like a traditional kale, it, yeah, honestly, it but, yeah, it but does. it's very serrated uh-huh. and it comes in different colors. There's red Ooh. and there's white and there's a pink yeah. and that it's good for taller spots. But again, it's color, texture, uh, form, form, color, yeah. texture, form. These are wonderful, huh, Len? They oh, are. I love, I love them. They are. And, and that if you're looking on YouTube, we, we have them in four inch pots right here because right. they're yeah. easier to bring into the studio, mm-hmm. but also, it's just you can use them for pot. Yeah. yeah. yeah I love we're we'll get into that. And, yeah. and and keeping on that garnish mm-hmm. theme, uh, ornamental peppers. Oh, peppers. I love them. Oh, talk about that, huh? We have it. about oh. 15 different varieties we of do. ornamental peppers. We do. Uh, there are, so, <laughs> there are too so, many almost. Too many, uh, yeah. But there's some that are, that are long and, and slender, slender and thin. Yeah, but right. you know why I've got... This variety right here? Because it's fat. <laughs> no, yep. because it's Zamora orange. You're kidding. Julio you Zamora. Feel? Oh, there my you go. After me, huh? There yeah. you go. There you go. So, um, But again, st- short and stubby. Uh-huh. There are long and slender. Man. There are colors that are mostly yellow. There's a mixture where it's uh-huh. uh, Methuselah is Methuselah. a variety that's wow. all different colors on the same plant. It's They're just... Stunning. Really, really, oh. st- exactly. Stunning plants. They are. And yeah. that you can use them in, in mixed containers. You can plant them right in the garden. And they're also, again, it's not just the varieties that are impressive. Yeah. It's the fact that it goes from oh. a nine-inch plant to a four-inch plant. Like the Celosia. We have right. four-inch Celosia. Right. Little but we have also two-gallon Two gallons. Two gallons. Oh, my gosh. They're, they're almost <laughs> two, two-and-a-half-foot tall That's and right. full and big. Uh, but we also have little guys, little guys that you can plant and use in, in mixed pot. containers. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that, that's what's fun. That's what's... Herbs are also, oh, herbs. again, that Another whole one. garnish theme that we're on. Mm-hmm. It's a right. texture. I I love parsley. Uh-huh. I never had enough parsley this year. You did? So oh. using parsley oh, is yeah, like in that. that curly parsley yeah. has got a great texture, a great color, That's and right. something that should be used more often oh, as an ornamental, an ornamental that you can eat. That's right. <laughs> so just be careful what you spray on it. That's right. <laughs> um, you necessarily don't want to be yeah, spraying. You don't want to be spraying your parsley. Because yeah. it's an ornamental, you don't want to be spraying a systemic That's on right. it, and then all of a sudden... <laughs> Uh, start eating it. So yeah, <laughs> again, yeah. stick to organics when you can. Mm-hmm. Um, Great idea, though, Ryan. Yeah, I love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and we're starting to get more and more of that, mm-hmm. where you're using different types of edibles in the landscape. Yes. Uh, different blueberries, dwarf blueberries, dwarf. blueberries dwarf. and and yeah. thornless raspberries and yeah, things like that. It's wonderful. Yep. Now mm-hmm. we have in the studio a beautiful. Mixed combo already done. 
but this is something that you can do yourself. We have it's yes. a it's a basket. It's a it's a half bushel. Half bushel, yeah. Um, or quarter bushel. I take quarter it back. Bushel. No, no, it's a half bushel. Half this is a half yeah, bushel. A we one. had some other ones as well. But mixed in here is celosia. celosia. There's actually gallardia, gallardia, which will flower at this time. Yes. There's some Johnny Jump Up, some pansies. Pansies. I can't even see on your side, Julio. What have you got on your side? Uh, this is looks like a um, rudbeckia. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then there's uh, cabbage and uh, an ornamental cabbage there. Cabbage. Wow. Look at now, that. you can make your own oh, yeah. combos. Mm-hmm. There's there's the opportunity now where again we have so many plant varieties that right. we can go ahead and and get those uh, new combos new combos yeah. get rid of the, the you know the tired looking things yes. maybe they're mm-hmm. they've gotten some yeah. insect damage or well, you're tired of looking at the same one for the last two months like <laughs> I know I, I am I know I, I know, am I too am. I'm I, done <laughs> yeah yeah I, I I'm I, ready. I I went and uh, uh-huh. made a mistake and right. and I, ha, has uh-huh. anybody out there ever done this where you go and you plant something you think it's going to be really good and it does doesn't quite work out that <laughs> yeah, well? Yeah, I've had that happen. Yeah, my four foot <laughs> elephant ears in my window box is just <laughs> done. <laughs> it looks kind of cool, but uh-huh. uh, they're on my deck railing and uh-huh. <laughs> the other day they blew what off. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, hey, I picked them happened? up and I cut all the leaves off. Oh, okay, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, shaved yeah. it right off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway. Uh, but it's time to replant That's those, right. and I think there what I'm going to do is is wow. do a combination oh, of, there you go. of the solution see, stuff yeah, you and, fell and the pansies one. as well. Oh, yes. Because the pansies, I'll see the pansies uh-huh. in March again. Like, right. they come That's back right. for another visit. That's it's right. like, hey, <laughs> hey there you look are. who's back. <laughs> look at back. All that other stuff died, but look, you're back. That's right. <laughs> and, and it's exciting because you see that plant that comes back again. Yeah, I love that, that wonderful? I love that part. Oh, look at that. It is, it's a good It's, it's a good exciting, thing. isn't it? Oh. It is. It's a good thing. Which it is. So we're going to have a class oh, yes. that's going to be Love coming it. up. It's mm-hmm. going to be, we. it's part of our uh, experiential yes. horticulture series yes, um, at Bloomers. If mm-hmm. you want to go to bloomers.com, wow. you can take a look and, and, and join, join us. us. Um, yes. hopefully it's be the, exciting. Hopefully the information is up. I think it's going to be, uh, I don't know, second or third week of, third week uh, of, September? of September. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, to it, that. It's going to be fun. Fun, it's going to yeah. be fun. We're, mm-hmm. we're going to have uh, some uh, some contests, yeah, and we're going to have it's, it's going to be a good time. Oh yeah! That's so what's if you're, all about, if you're huh? interested, uh, bloomers.com, yes. take a look. Yep. But uh, get out there. Oh yeah! Take oh. a look of, of what what's out there. My goodness! Um, and and I've got to say, uh-huh. go to your local garden center. Yes, your local independent garden center. That's right. Um, I'm going to say it. Go ahead. Say it. I was at the local shop, right? Okay. They had a gigantic selection right. of mums, and they had, I think, some asters. That's it. That's completely it. Completely dried out. Oh, my. <laughs> the damage that occurs uh, by people that don't know how to maintain plants. Sure. It's you know, done. I'm, watch, I'm going to get sued from ShopRite. No, you're not. <laughs> but, but what happens is that we take care of the independent garden Actually. center knows how to take care of your plants. So go to your independent garden center this weekend and Actually. go see what they've got. Buy your stuff there mm-hmm. because it will be taken care of mm-hmm. and you'll be, you won't be suffering the damage that it received yeah. by somebody that didn't know how to take care of it. So again, that's your right. best bet. And we have great collections. Money. I mean, yeah. we have great collections. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. you can come to Bloomers, you go to, to go to wherever, wherever you live, go to yeah. your local, everybody's sure. got a garden center that, that they that know they of. Have. Go yes. out there mm-hmm. and that you will, uh, mm-hmm. it, you'll be amazed yeah. and you'll also get oh. knowledgeable help. That's right. That's, and that's how to take thing. care of them. And that's it. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. All right. If you've got any questions, make sure you call the hotline. hotline. Too. Yes, sir. Get, get us right. on the hotline here. That's right. Mm-hmm. You're going to hear the number. Right after this break. There you go. All right. Bloomers in the Garden is brought to you each week by Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bloomers is an award-winning garden center just 20 minutes from Philadelphia. Bloomers has been providing expert advice turning brown thumbs green for over 30 years. At Bloomers, we want you to ask us every question even if you think it's silly. We share information in a friendly, non-judgmental way that is meant to teach and spread the joy of gardening. Visit Bloomers Home and Garden Center in Washington Township, Gloucester County. For directions, go to bloomers.com, and we'll see you in the garden. Bloomers in the Garden is an hour-long gardening radio program that airs to over 6 million residents throughout the Delaware Valley. From Allentown to Wilmington, 
from the main line to the Jersey Shore. Bloomers in the Garden can be heard twice each Saturday morning, first at 8 a.m. on 860 WWDB and again at 9 on 610 a.m. ESPN Radio. Each episode of Bloomers in the Garden will be broadcast on Bloomers' Facebook page and available as a podcast on bloomersinthegarden.com. Bloomers in the Garden is adding sponsors. Share your message to our large, diverse group of listeners. Commercials and segment sponsorships are available at incredibly affordable prices. Let Bloomers in the Garden get your message out to one of the largest and most diverse populations in the country. If you're interested in joining us in the garden, please visit bloomersinthegarden.com or email len at bloomers.com. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call or text us using the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. Call or text us and let us know what problems you're facing. Let us know how we're doing. Call or text 609-685-1880. If we use your comment on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call or text us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. See me in Julio down by the schoolyard. See me in Julio well, down Julio. by the schoolyard. Schooled again. Schooled yes. again. So yes. many varieties, so oh, many choices. What a wonderful time, huh? It is. It's a great time to yes. get back out there in the garden, freshen up all those oh. things. Plant a garnish. Yeah, plant, the garnish. <laughs> plant a garnish garden. <laughs> there you go. Get out there and plant a garnish garden. That, wonderful. That's good. Um, uh, you know, make sure that you are, if you've got any problems in, in your garden landscape, uh, any of your plants, house plants, send us uh a text, text, yeah. text us a picture. Right. We'll try to diagnose things and we'll see will. what they're yeah. like. If we use it on the show, we'll yeah. we'll send you a t-shirt. t-shirt. Yeah. But uh, again, we're here. We're here to help. We're here to help. We're to help you guys. That's yeah. right. That's right. Our combo party, combo right? Party. Julie? Oh, it's coming up uh, soon. Uh, right. A couple our, weeks, maybe. Our, uh, so uh, come and join us. We're going to have a great time. That's we'll right. Learn all about our plants here. That's right. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Robert. Good job. Yep. All right. And Brett. Brett. Thank you, He's, Brett. He's, 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 he's sleeping? Man, he's management today. Oh, he is? Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you for listening. We'll see you in the garden. See you in the garden. The first person to survive Alzheimer's disease is out there. They might even be listening to this right now. Maybe they're waiting for the traffic light to change. Maybe they're daydreaming about a trip they've planned with their family. Maybe they're in a toddler seat, strapped in and wondering if they're almost home. That first survivor is out there, and they're going to hold on to everything the disease steals away. And the Alzheimer's Association is going to make it happen by funding research, advancing public policy, and spurring scientific breakthroughs. And by providing local support right now to those living with the disease and their caregivers, we're easing the burden for all those facing it until we accomplish our goal. Alzheimer's disease has devastated millions of lives, but that's all going to change when we reach the first survivor. But we won't get there without you. Visit alz.org to join the fight.